Music's a really complex phenomenon. It's probably one of the most complex things that humans engage in. So there are lots of reasons why we might enjoy music. The research was done uh, by Spanish Canadian researchers and they surveyed a large number of people using a questionnaire on music and hedonia. And this actually explored how people uh, related to music in a range of different ways. And from that data they found a whole range of people uh, from very pleasurable capacity uh, for music to uh, quite an inability to experience pleasure to music. So they selected people who were very low in those scores, those who were in the middle and those who experienced a lot of pleasure and then looked at their physical responses as they listened to pleasurable music. And they found those that said they didn't experience pleasure to music also didn't have physical responses, things like heart rate increasing or sweating, whereas those that reported a lot of pleasure in music showed much more intense responses physically. So they uh, concluded from that, that data that there is a class of people that they called music anhedonics that don't experience the same pleasure to a whole range of music, not just one type, but they tried classical and jazz and pop and rock. Amusia is a condition in which people have some difficulty in processing certain aspects of music. So either the pitches or the rhythm of the music are not perceived in the same way as other people. And this is often due to an acquired or perhaps a brain injury that's there from birth that is actually preventing the same auditory processing of that sound as occurs normally. This is different from music and hedonics who actually do perceive the music in the same way. Those parts of the brain that are involved in auditory processing are the same, are intact in musical and hedonics, we assume. What's different there, we assume, is some problem in the reward or the pleasure pathways of their brains. We know that there are lots of different ways of engaging with music and lots of different reasons that we engage with music. So one other way that we might get um, or be attracted towards music or want to use music is a very intellectual way. So some people love music but often don't cite emotional response as a big part of it. Often it's the um, intellectual appreciation of the aesthetics or the cleverness of the music or the artistry in the music and that can be really um, rewarding for those people without giving them that physical arousal and that, that chill thrill phenomenon. So that's one possibility that people with anhedonia might still appreciate and be attracted and, and use music for the intellectual appreciation. While music anhedonics don't experience the same pleasure with music, people with, uh, with music anhedonia would still be experiencing that same great thrill and that great release of dopamine from other events in their life. Music